This question says you invest some money in a bank paying 4% compound interest per annum. So you get 4% interest every year. At the end of five years, you have £15,208.16. pence. How much did you invest? If we've got 4% compound interest, that means every year we have our 100% plus 4%. So that means at the end of each year, we've got 104% of what we started with. To add on 4%, we can use what we call a multiplier, which is 104% written as a decimal. So if we have our original amount of money, which we call x, we can add on 4% by multiplying it by 1.04. And we're going to do this five times because we've got five years. We don't have to write times 1.04 times 1.04 times 1.04 times 1.04 times 1.04. We can write x times 1.04 to the power of five. So that's going to add on 4% a year for five years. And we should get an answer to our original amount of money with 4% added on for five years is equal to 15,208 pounds and 16 pence. So if we want to find X, at the moment it's multiplied by 1.04 to the power of five. We can divide both sides by 1.04 to the power of 5. So let's type that into the calculator. And we've got, so I've got 12,499.9989 now with money, we'd usually round to two decimal places. So if I rounded this to two decimal places, I would actually get 12,500. So it's 12,500 pounds. So if we started with 12,500 and added on 4% compound interest a year for five years, we will get to 15,208 pounds and 16 pence. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go and press play when you're ready for the answer. So this time you invest some money in a bank paying 5% compound interest for four years. So your original amount of money times 1.05, that's our multiplier, to add on 5% and we want to do it for four years so we multiply by 1.05 four times so our original amount of money times 1.05 to the power of four equals 21,879 pounds and 11 pence so what is our original amount of money we need to divide both sides by 1.05 to the power of four And we're going to type that into the calculator and the calculator will tell us the answer. So fraction button, 21,879 pounds and 11 pence divided by 1.05 to the power of four. And that's, so I've got 17,999 pounds, 19.997. So again, that's going to round up and that's 18,000 pounds. And again, you could check your answer by starting with 18,000, adding on 5% four times. So if I did 18,000 times 1.05 to the power of four, I would get to £21,879.11. Okay, a different question. 
So the value of a car depreciates by X percent a year. The car was bought for £15,000. Three years later, it's worth £9,540.84. Find the value of X. We're going to use the same sort of formula. We're going to start with 15000 And then we're going to multiply it by something. I'm going to use a Y here. Because this is going to be our multiplier, not our percentage. So 15,000 times Y. How many years later? Three years later. So 15,000 pounds times something three times is going to equal 9,540 pounds and 84 pence. How are we going to get Y by itself? Divide both sides by 15,000 to start with. So our multiplier cubed is going to be £9,540.84 over 15,000. And then how do I get y by itself? At the moment it's cubed. What's the opposite of cubing? The cube root. So it's the cube root of 9,540.84 over 15,000. So we can type that into the calculator. So cube root first, which I've got a shift square root. If you wanted, a, if you wanted a different root, we could use this button, and we can decide whatever root we want. So we want the cube root this time, and we're going to use the fraction button. So nine thousand five hundred and forty pounds eighty four over fifteen thousand. And that means that Y, our multiplier, is 0 0.86. So if our multiplier is 0 0.86, what is our percentage decrease? So 0 0.86 as a percentage multiplied by 100 is 86%. So each year... We've got 86% of what we had the previous year. So what is the percentage decrease? 100% to 86%. 100 minus 86 is 14. So we've got 14%. So X, our percentage decrease, is 14%. Okay, one for you to try. The value of a car depreciates by Y percent a year. The car was bought for £12,500. Four years later, it's worth £4,626.88. So what is the percentage decrease? So it was original value was 12500 And that multiplied by something four times gave us £4,626.88. So how do we get X by itself? Firstly, divide both sides by 12,500. So our multiplier to the power of four is 4,626.88 over 12,500. And we've got X to the power of four so we need to do the fourth root of our number. So we type this into the calculator. So we're doing a fourth root. And it's 4,626.88 over 12,500. So I've got 0 0.77999999, so we can call that 0 0.78. So to two decimal places, 0 0.78. So our multiplier is 0 0.78. What percentage decrease is that? So 0 0.78 as a percentage is 78%. And 100%, take away 78%, 
is 22%. So our percentage decrease is 22%. One more example. In the first year, a car's value decreases by 20%. In both the second year and the third year, the car's value decreases by X%. The car was bought for £15,000. After three years, it's worth £6,220.80. Find the value of X. So we had an original value, which was 15,000. In the first year, it decreased by 20%. So a multiplier to decrease by 20% is 0 0.8. So 100% take away 20% is 80%. And as a decimal, that's 0 0.8. Then in the second and third year, we don't know the percentage. So I'm just going to call the multiplier y for the second and third year. And that's two years. So it's squared. And then after that, it equals £6,220.80. So to get y by itself this time, we're going to divide by 15,000 times 0 0.8. Or we could either do 15,000 times 0 0.8 first, which is 12,000. So we've got 12,000 y squared equals 6,220 pounds, 80 pence. Let's divide both sides by 12,000. And then we've got y squared at the moment. So to get y by itself, our multiplier, we square root. So we're going to type this into the calculator. So square root first. £6,220.80 over 12,000. And that's 0 0.72. So our multiplier is 0 0.72. Which means every year, so this is a percentage, we've got 72% of the year before, 100% take away 72% is 28%. So X is 28%. And one for you to try. So pause the video and have a go at this. A house was bought for £250,000 in the first year. So we've got 250000 In the first year, its value increased by 5%. So 100% plus 5% is 105%. As a multiplier, 1.05. In the second year, its value decreased by X%. percent. So we can just call that a multiplier of y. We don't know that multiplier. At the end of the second year, it's worth £253,312.50. Find the value of x. So find this percentage. So we're going to get y by itself. And what we've got to do is divide at 253,312.5 by 250,000 times 1.05. So we type that into the calculator. And I've got 0 0.965. So a multiplier is 0 0.965 as a percentage. So times by 100, that's 96.5%. So what percentage decrease has there been? 100% take away 96.5% is 
is 3.5%. So our percentage is 3.5. And let's finish up with two questions. So have a go at these. Question one. So a bank pays 2.4% compound interest per annum. We invest X, so we don't know how much. And after five years, we've got 6,530 pounds, 22 pence. Find X. So this is what we're investing, X. We get 2.4% compound interest per year. So what's the multiplier? 1.024. So 102.4% as a decimal. And it's for five years. So to the power of five. And it equals £6,530.22. So let's get X by itself by dividing both sides by 1.024 to the power of 5. And we'll type it into the calculator. And we've got 5,800. So we started with 5,800 pounds. Question two, a car's value decreases by X percent a year. After five years, the car is worth 59% of its initial value. Find the value of X to the nearest whole number. This time we haven't been given actual values. We don't know how much the car was worth to start with, and we don't know how much it's worth at the end. We just know that the end value is 59% of the original value. So we could make numbers up. We could say if it was worth £100 to start with. And we multiply by our multiplier to the power of 5. We get what's 59% of 100? Well, £59. So we could just make up values and we would get the right answer. Or we could think of it as an initial amount that we don't know times our multiplier to the power of 5 equals our final amount that we don't know. But what we do know is y to the power of 5 must be 0 0.59 because we've got 59% of our original so our red times 59% equals our blue. So y to the power of 5 must be 0 0.59. And if you've picked any made up numbers to start with, 59 divided by 100 is 0 0.59. So whatever numbers you used, you will still get the same equation, which would be y to the power of 5 equals 0 0.59. So to get y by itself, we do the fifth root of 0 0.59. So the fifth root of 0 0.59, and we've got 0 0.8998, and so on. So our multiplier is 0 0.8998, so that is, as a percentage, 89.98%. So what percentage have we taken off? So 100%, take away 89.98%, and that's 10.01%. We want the nearest whole number. So 100% take away 90% is 10%. So the nearest whole number is 